Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Pretty Cool Films, and today we'll be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Batman figure uh, version 2 Batman, or the um, first version of the Animated Series, as opposed to the um, New Adventures. So we already got the New Adventures Batman and other characters from all the waves and everything like that, and um, they did say we're getting two of each character, so that's nice. I think the one character we don't really need two of is Harley Quinn, because she didn't really change that much. But, you know, hey, it's it's cool that we're getting two of every character. I am excited. Once they release that New Adventures Joker, I don't even know which one I'll want. The New Adventures Joker or the um, animated series Joker. But I've always been more of a fan of the original animated series as opposed to the um, <clears throat> second version. I don't know why. Um... I know the animation's better on the other one, but I've just been more of a fan of this. So we've got um, Batman, uh, the animated series logo right there. We've got DC Comics right there, Collect DC Collectibles. This is figure 13 in the wave. We've got Batman's name on the side. We've got the silhouette from the show on the back. We've got Batman clearly in per great view from, you know, side to side, front and back, and on top in the package. He comes with 13 things or accessories. Here we've got the same silhouette but reverse colors on the back. We've got DC Comics. We got all these warning labels and everything like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. And the figure was sculpted by Re uh, <clears throat> Irene Matar. So um, we'll be back and we'll take and a look. here he is out of the package. I gotta say this Batman is really awesome. So uh, first we'll take a look at the accessories. Then we'll take a look at the figure. So first he comes with the base. The uh, turn with the turnaround images of um, Batman on the bottom, uh, pretty standard base, just a you know C clamp on a p clear stick and all that. Um, I haven't even really tried it yet. I did finagle with the figure after opening it just so I could you know be prepared on this review, not really knowing what to expect. So yeah, he does stand on it just fine. Um, no no real issues with that. You know, he does He does just stand on it very fine, just like uh, most figures. Um, it is nice to have this, kind of just like if you're going for more of a, uh, like a really co collector type thing, you would probably display him on this, or just to prevent him from falling, you would want this. Because if you have a collection, figures uh, down the road will possibly fall over. So... Um, out of the package, he comes with two fisted hands, but I have the um, battering holding hands on him right now because I, you know, switched them out. Um, he comes with a grapple holding hand. He comes with a separate ga uh, grapple like we've always gotten. Kind of holds it awkwardly in one of the hands. There's no real use for it, but it is a nice accessory. So, you know, there it is. Um, he's got a battering, which fits into, we'll get into that in a second. Just want to finish up the hands. Um, here are the two fisted hands that come um, on the figure already uh, in the package, and he's got two uh, semi or two gripping hands, and these are for you know when you buy the Batmobile, uh, DC, when you buy the uh, DC Collectibles animated series Batmobile, the first version. Uh, these are the hands he's supposed to use for for that. So that's the steering wheel hands, and then here's the here's the battering, like I said earlier. So let's just put it into his hand. It fits into his hand just like that. Um, it's not really loose or anything. It looks like it is, but it's not. It just, you know, it fits in there perfectly fine. You can put it on either hand. There's different ways to uh, put it. I would just wish that the, uh, you know, the matching Robin figure with this uh, figure, <laughs> or this, the, the Robin from this series had a battering. He doesn't come with a battering, but this Batman does. It's like... It's weird. I wonder if the, because he doesn't come with a battering, but you know, uh, he. I just wish that maybe this Robin would have, or the Robin that matches with this Batman came with this battering, or or yeah. Never mind. So um, before we again take a look at the figure in very close detail, here he is next to the Robin, um, just to kind of get you guys uh, scale wise, and and also for those who'd like to see this, here he is next to the Robin. They're in pretty good scale together. Again, it's, um, if I haven't said this already in my other review about the Robin, I'll say in this review, the Robin, I feel like it's a little too short. Maybe it could have been taller. Maybe it's just the way I have him posed. 
I don't know, like, I feel like he's a little too short. Should be a little bit taller. Just about, um, a little close to Batman's height. If this is accurate, then okay. But if, I don't know, it just looks a little short to me. So anyway, let's take a look at the figure. Um, he doesn't come with a second cape. And that just, that kind of is a little bit disappointing. I wish he had the cape more over the shoulders. Like, you know, kind of like here. And you only see that much of his body. And then you have, you know, most of the arms and stuff covered up. I wish he came with a cape like that. It is nice we come with a cape that has blue on the back. And then it's, it's so basically a dual colored cape. Um, as opposed to the first version where it was like uh, all black cape. I don't have the figure to compare to. But I've seen reviews and everything. And I know... Uh, everything with that figure. I feel like the gray is a little too light for that figure and I, I, It's using the older plastic plus I had the uglier peg holes on the old figure So that's enough about me talking about the old figures and everything previous Let's get straight back into this figure. So he's got the nice yellow logo I don't really have any real bad paint blemishes on mine I will say that he has painted hinges and when you put them in they're gonna be tight to move um the hinges so what I recommend is before you switch hands and you want to do uh, hinge movement just do some hinge movement pre uh, in the figure you know like and then when you put the hand in the figure you know the paint will be loosened up and and start to uh, on the on the paint on the hinge will kind of uh, you know be loose enough to to mess with so just to prevent uh, hinge breakings please on your uh, things or figures, kind of just play with it a little bit before you go nuts. So with the legs, they were really stiff when I got them out of package. It looks, oh no, that's just reflection. I thought there was a. So yeah, just be careful with hinges on this on these figures. They have a tendency to break, but DC Collectibles has gone to better plastic. But still, you know, even with better plastic, there still is the possibility of paint um breakage on the hinges. So uh, I've already seen that Shardimus Prime, one of the greatest uh, reviewers of all time, he put his Batman in the Batmobile and his the fins broke off. So, um, uh, you know, if whether you have the Batmobile or not, uh, Batmobile, Batmobile or not, I would be careful about these um, these uh, fins and then be careful with the hinges because they're painted uh, you know so you know kind of just get your figure loosened up before you you know start posing him or something maybe uh, apply some heat or or maybe some hot water I don't know just kind of from from my experience with breaking hinges broken hinges and stuff like that uh, due to the figure being too tight or whatever I just recommend you run to others run it under some hot water or you know something like that so i you know besides those minor things to look out for this is a great figure i have no well i have one complaint with this figure uh possibly two on his mouth they didn't even paint the uh the lip or the mouth area they did on the other batman but this one he kind of has i don't know like his mouth was sewn together it's not a huge problem or anything like that. It's just, I wish they would have done that. Um, and then the eyes. I feel like they're really thin. I know he had way bigger eyes in the animated series and stuff like that. And I feel like these are too thin. I don't know. kind of reminds me of, like, Beware the Batman or something. I think his eyes were thin in that cartoon. But yeah, the eyes being too thin and then no paint on the mouth. Um, another sort of complaint that I would add to the figure would be, uh, no secondary cape, but, you know, whatever. Um, and also, I, I don't want to try it, but I'm pretty sure you can take off the head and then take off the cape and then put the head back on. Uh, I won't try it because I don't want to break anything, but, um, if, you know, what that look, whatever that looks like, please let me know or post a picture or something or, you know, whatever, just, you know, kind of let me know or let me, let me see what you guys can do with that. I want to be able to see, but I don't want to take off the head and break something. So we'll get into the articulation now. So the, um, the head can look up, well, it's kind of tough, but yeah, actually that's about as much as it can look up. It can look up a decent amount for the uh, grapple gun accessory and then it can look down. He's got head, uh, 360, um, his arms can go out, they can go forward, they can go up that much, they can go um, out just about eh, like that much or so. I could actually, yeah, if you kind of force it without really breaking it, you can get his arm about that far out. 
But, uh, you know, that works for loosening the joint so now I could get it out much better that way. He's got a single hinge at the elbow, swivel at the elbow. Doesn't really do 90 degrees. I think that's 90 degrees, but it doesn't really look like it to me. Um, wrist hinge, swivel, no ab or uh, waist articulation. His legs can go out that much. They can go back that far, very, very far. They can go out like that. And then go back again, single hinge knees, single hinge um, foot, and ankle pivot, or single, hin or single hinge ankle. But yeah, yeah, and he's got the ankle pivot, which is something that I like in figures, so you can do a lot more posing. So, um, yeah, there's, this is pretty much the figure in uh, perspective. There's a lot, there's, um, I will again say there's, there's problems um, too or three things that I don't like about it, like pretty much the eyes, no paint on the mouth, and no secondary cape. I will say watch out for the smaller things like the um, the fins, the, wait, can that swivel? Oh, never mind, that was just the, <laughs> anyways, watch out for the hinges, watch out for the um, smaller parts like the fins, and then these hand pegs or whatever, because um, they're painted, they paint the pegs, but there's no need, because it's already molded in plastic, but I guess to match with the, you know, paint of the uh, gloves and everything, I guess they paint it for that reason, but, you know, just paint chipping and all that, so watch out for those minor things, you, you know, you never know when you'll run into it, and you know, be upset. You could always try to fix it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my review. I hope you guys like it. Please like the video. Please comment down below uh, what I should review next. I am actually out of ideas of what to review next. Um, I have a 66 Batmobile that I'm possibly going to review, but I'm not sure. Um, more details on that in uh, another video. Um, please subscribe if you like uh, my reviews, please support the channel, blah, 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 all that. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mine's pretty cool film. You guys are pretty cool. See you guys next time.